everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our fall winter 2022 catalog sniff session series. Try to say that five times fast. <laughs> this is a series I really enjoy doing each season where we go through the seasonal catalog. This fall and winter 2022 catalog season starts, launches, what have you, on August 1st. So I like to, right before or right at the beginning of the season, go through and sniff through each individual category with you, um, revisit some old favorites try out some new ones and um, it's just something I really enjoy doing. So in case you are newer to Scentsy, hello and welcome. Um, this may help you rather than just going off of a scent description. Um, I like to kind of break it down and tell you exactly what I personally smell. Now everybody sniffer differs, we know that. Sometimes I will pick up some really strange, <laughs> some strange scents or just scents that aren't in the description. And I'm like, oh wow, yeah, no, this totally smells like something else and my nose goes rogue, but um, I feel like it's a little bit easier if somebody can describe what they're smelling rather than just um, a scent description. So, and it's just kind of fun to do. So we have just kicked off this, this series. And so we started off with the new releases. We followed up with that with the holiday collection. And now th today, this video, we are going to be sniffing through the spice category of fragrances. Not typically my favorite. I do um, appreciate spice scents, but I, it can be very aggressive very quickly. <laughs> and so if it's like nothing but spice or what I like to call an aggressive spice, um, it's a little bit much for me. So, um, I t typically super spicy scents are not usually my cup of tea, but there are definitely, there's actually one of my favorite scents in this collection. Um, so let's go ahead and get started because there are 17 scents to talk about in this and also kind of sorry going back just a little bit um in case like you are someone who you're like oh no i don't like spice fragrances so i'm just gonna avoid this entire category of fragrances entirely that's why i like to do this i mean hopefully if that's you you're still gonna watch this series <laughs> hopefully you're not like oh no i don't like spice fragrances so i'm not even gonna bother watching that video um no because there's some of these that i'm like why is this in the spice category that makes no sense so I'm just going to give you my honest opinion on what these smell like. So like I said, we do have 17 cents to go ahead and sniff through together. So let's get started. So the first one we're going to talk about is, and I always remember this particular category, it's always like a lot of apples and spices. So like, I'm going to feel like I am repeating myself quite a bit, but they do differ in their own ways and they shine in their own ways. So, all right get started, Lisa. <laughs> All right. Apples and cinnamon sticks. That is going to be the first scent we are going to talk about for the spice collection. And this one is just that <laughs> it is apples and cinnamon sticks. Sensi does a really great apple scent, pretty true, authentic apple. I do feel like this is a well-balanced, uh, apple spice scent. I don't feel like the spice is like too in your face. I feel like just a touch more spice and it would be too much. But for me, I feel like this personally is a well-balanced apple spice scent. So, but if you're like, I can't do any spice whatsoever, maybe try Johnny Appleseed. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that whole category later, but um, we do have other scents that don't have like spice in it for the fall and winter season. So not to worry today. We're just highlighting the spicy ones. So um, apple and cinnamon sticks. And I, what I like about this is that there is like a woodsy element to this that I do really enjoy. So, all right, this one is a bestseller and Sensi describes this as apple peel, spiced white pumpkin and a touch of oak. So I personally don't smell the pumpkin in this. I get the apple, I get the spice from the cinnamon stick and I do get that oaky note that comes through and it just kind of gives you an earthy feel and it, I, I like it. So I feel like it's a well-balanced scent, um, especially if you are a little bit particular when it comes to your spice fragrances like myself. So that is apples and cinnamon sticks. <clears throat> Next one, we have Autumn Hearth. And this one is another like apple spice scent. Um, but this one is different in that there is, you know what this smells like to me? different from this. Yes, very different. This doesn't have the autumn hearth does not have that woodsy note in it. Um, this 
to me, it smells like hot apple cider. <sighs> yeah, this totally smells like hot. You know what this actually reminds me of? When I was really young, I used after school, I used to go and stay and hang out with my mom um, at, you know, at her office that she was working at. And I just would do my homework and stuff until she was done with her day and we would go home. Um, in the fall and winter months, she always had the instant hot apple cider packets. That's totally what this reminds me of. Um, it's, it's really good. I really like this. <laughs> um, I used to live on, on those like instant, um, hot apple cider packets, like growing up. That's totally what this smells like. So autumn hearth is described as cue up a classic apple, cinnamon, and tonka are all about fall. Can't believe I never really smelled that until now. Like I've smelled this scent before, but this just totally like, woo, took me back several, several years, but oh, so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I, like this one hasn't been like, and that's, that's another reason why I really like doing this series because this one is not a new scent, but it's like revisiting something that I'm like, I think I could really enjoy this. So I know I've warmed it before, but it wasn't ever anything that like really thrilled me, but this I could actually see being a favorite. So Autumn Hearth. Okay, next one is Autumn Sunset. <laughs> I laugh because Autumn Sunset, um, this one, this, if I remember correctly, it has more of that aggressive cinnamon scent <laughs> or aggressive spice scent that I was referring to earlier. And um, yes, this is definitely more spice forward. There is apples in this. See, I, I always remember <laughs> in the fall and winter months, the spice is always like, okay, well, how many variations of apple spice can we give you? Um, but this one is, it's apple spice, but less on the apple, more forward on the spice. So if you like apple and cinnamon stick, but you want the spice to be a little bit more present and a little less apple, then I would suggest going with Autumn Sunset. That's, that's what I get. So, okay, Autumn Sunset is described as apples, again with the pumpkins that I don't smell, um, apples, pumpkins, fall leaves, and spices, a top 10 fragrance. So, um, like I said, I think if you are more wanting spice forward, but just a little added sweetness from the apple, but not overpowering with the apple, um, this would be the one that I would suggest going with. Okay, next one is a new release and I am so excited to give this a try and warm it. It is Blackberry Spice. <clears throat> and this one, oh, I, I cannot wait to warm this and I'm actually really excited because this is the one that I was telling you it smells very similar, not a dupe in any kind of way, but more of a fancy sister of Welcome Home. Um, same with my home. I feel like the three are sisters and they get along great and they all smell amazing. This gives me vibes of walking into a craft store in the fall time and it is beautiful and sweet and perfect and I love it. So this is described as, so it's sister. <laughs> Welcome Home is actually in this category as well. So it's actually gonna be the last one we talk about. So when we get to that point, I am gonna sniff these side by side and give you my opinions on where the differences are. So brand new blackberry spice is ripe blackberry bundled up with cedar wood and fresh clove. And I did have a few of you ask in the new releases video if the clove is too much because again, like clove can be done or can be overdone rather very easily. And this it's not, it's not like, I feel like the clove in it. Now I haven't had a chance to warm this yet. So I will do like a, like, update once I have actually warmed through the new releases and everything. But this, the clove is adding some warmth rather than like spice, if that makes sense. So it's, it's done. It's done really, really well. In my opinion, I wouldn't change a thing to be totally honest. So th there are so many others that have much more spice to it than this. And it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. So love that one. Blackberry spice. Okay, up next is actually one we just talked about in the holiday collection. It's Christmas Cottage. So I don't wanna to spend too, too much time talking about this one because we did just talk about this one in the holiday collection, but um, this definitely has a place in the spice collection for sure. Um, this is what I was telling you is, it's on the verge of being a little bit too much spice, but 
because there is a citrus note in here that just kind of gives it a nice balance and kind of cuts that spice. So it's kind of like a spiced orange scent, but it is it is more forward on the spice, but just the orange adds a little bit of, um, of sweetness. So this is just, it's a bestseller. Christmas Cottage is a cozy inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. I think if you're sensitive to cloves and spices, this one might be a little bit too much for you. Totally different, totally way spicier than the blackberry spice. So if that helps. Christmas Cottage. Okay, next one. Oh my love this this one is the one that i feel like doesn't really belong in the spice category and it is cider mill this is one that always goes into my club every single spring and summer season because i cannot live without this scent you guys this it's a dupe for bath and body works pumpkin apple it is perfect it's just pumpkin just apple honestly for years i was convinced there was no spice in this i think as time has gone on i can kind of pick it up ever so slightly on the back end so slight like almost non-existent like i this this scent does not belong in the spice category in my opinion because i just don't pick up the spice if it were me i would probably put this more in the fruity category um which let me see it's not which yeah, it's it's not in the fruity category, but if it were me, I would actually put this more in the fruity category because I really just get apples and pumpkin and it is so good. It's so good. It's fantastic. So love this one. Don't agree with the scent category, but still obsessed with the scent. This is a bestseller for good reason. Cider Mill is described as brings together fresh apples, crushed pumpkin and simmering spices for a cozy autumn treat. So agree with all of that, except for the spices. I really, really, it's, it's so subtle. It's almost non-existent. So that's why I'm saying like, <laughs> even if you're like, oh, I don't do spices, so I'm not even going to pay attention to that category. No, pay attention. Cause there's some things in here that are misplaced. <laughs> so cider mill being one of them. <clears throat> okay. Next one. Absolutely. 1 million percent appropriate in this category, cinnamon bear. <laughs> and this is a red hot cinnamon scent this totally smells like hot tamales <laughs> this is straight up hot cinnamon candy absolutely hot cinnamon candy that's what this is nothing else to it so if you are someone who you love cinnamon scents but you don't want the apples you don't want the pumpkins you don't want anything else in there you just want cinnamon cinnamon bear is going to be the one for you because this is all cinnamon so cinnamon bear is described as crisp spicy cinnamon with a touch of cloves so there you have it this is nice it's a little bit goes a long way <laughs> a little bit goes a long way for cinnamon bear Okay, next one is clove and cinnamon. And this one's been around for a hot minute. And um, this is another very specific, very cinnamon, very clovey scent. And I think the name describes it perfectly. If you don't like cloves, if you don't like cinnamon, you're not gonna like this because that's all this smells like. <laughs> so uh, since he describes this as classic scent of cinnamon sticks fused with cloves. And I absolutely agree with that. Um, it, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's, it is different than, oh, where's cinnamon bear? I want to smell these side by side. So yeah, so cinnamon bear, it, like I said, it's that like cinnamon candy that comes through. Whereas clove and cinnamon, you do have that kind of smokiness from the clove that comes out. So gives it, I think it feels a little bit more smoky, if that makes sense. Okay, next one we also talked about in the holiday collection, and it is the Dancing Sugar Plums scent. So again, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about this one, because we already did, but it's a beautiful spiced plum scent, and I love it. And the spice on this one, very, very subtle. So if you are like me, and you can tolerate spice scents, and you like spice scents, but a little bit goes a long way, this one's, this one's good. I think you'll be fine with it. Dancing Sugar Plums is described as rich spiced plum falls right into step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. So it's, it's wonderful. So, so good. Okay. 
Next one that does not belong in the spice collection <laughs> for me personally is farm stand pumpkin. What? Again, mm, don't really think this one belongs in the spice category, but let's reevaluate here. Nope. <laughs> I still do not agree. I, for me, this just smells like pumpkin. Like I feel like so many pumpkin scents are pumpkin spice, pumpkin bakery spice, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice. And I'm here for the pumpkin spice. Don't get me wrong. But what I really love about this one is that for me, it just smells like pumpkin without the spice. That's it. It's like pumpkin. And I get like an added sweetness besides the, the pumpkin. It's like caramel i get like it and that may sound weird but like i get an added sweetness it's like pumpkin and caramel and i'm here for it and i don't get any spice i get no spice in this whatsoever so i do not agree i do really like this scent but i don't agree that this is a spice scent <laughs> so okay let's see here so farm stand pumpkin is described as indulgent notes of fresh apple i don't get the apple either cinnamon stick don't get the cinnamon stick pumpkin and caramel ding 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 that is what i smell i do not smell the apple i do not smell the cinnamon stick it's just pumpkin and caramel it's really nice it's really nice but not spicy not spicy okay next one first day of fall and this one actually was one that had been around for a minute but then just kind of hit me <laughs> last year and oh man it is so nice i love this scent because this is the perfect pumpkin it's oh, i am so ready for the pumpkin scents you guys i'm so here for it this is an earthy pumpkin scent with some sweetness like um like a, a spicy like a spice kind of sweetness like a a nutmeg not cinnamon but like a nutmeg you know how nutmeg is very sweet i feel like it's pumpkin and there's like it's like an earthy pumpkin with nutmeg it's it's sweet and it's so good i this one has maybe a touch of spice but not like cinnamon it's it's just subtle it's so good mm, i love this one this is a bestseller. First day of fall is described as all the best parts are here. Just picked pumpkin. See, just picked like freshly harvest. <laughs> um, just picked pumpkin, a breath of autumn woods. So another like earthy element here. Ground nutmeg. Totally smell that. And a spicy dash of cinnamon. I don't smell the cinnamon. I totally pick up the nutmeg. I totally pick up that pumpkin and like that woodsy kind of like earthiness. But nutmeg yes cinnamon no delicious delightful wonderful absolutely 100 percent yes <laughs> so first day of fall love this one okay next one another really really great one that i do not think is appropriate for the spice collection is harvest blessings and this one if i remember correctly is a like apple pumpkin yeah there's no spice in this you guys there's like no spice in this whatsoever this is earthy pumpkin earthy apple this is like that what that first day of fall kind of, it's so funny because first day of fall <laughs> but there's like a freshness like when you walk out and you can like smell fall for the first time you can almost smell like the fall leaves and pumpkins and apples there's a freshness to this that I love. I absolutely love this. This is like one of my favorite um, fresh fall kind of scents. So love, love Harvest Blessings. This is a bestseller. This is described as radiant apple, spiced pumpkin, and smooth oak embody everything you love about autumn. I do agree, obviously, with the radiant apple and spiced pumpkin. If the pumpkin is spiced, it's so subtle you don't even know it's there. Smooth oak. It's probably just adding some of that like earthy, like freshness. I, it's so hard to describe, but it's so dang good. It's amazing. Oh, I am, it's gonna be hard to pick my six. We still have a few more to sniff through. I'm not I'm gonna cross that bridge when we get there. Okay, next one we have is maple apple bourbon. And this one smells probably exactly like what you were 
what you are anticipating. It's apples and maple. Very sweet. Maybe, maybe like on the verge of being cloying because you have that maple that is so rich and sweet, but you do have that apple that brings like a freshness to it. Really good. I don't get any boozy notes from this, so don't worry about like the bourbon. Um, I just get apple and maple. So totally like perfect. I feel like for fall, you do have to have like some maple scent to be able to choose from. And this is going to check that box for sure. Maple apple bourbon is juicy red apple and rich maple. Get in the holiday spirit with a splash of bourbon. So no boozy notes, so don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about sticking this in your warmers and worry about smelling like a distillery. You're not gonna smell um, any of that bourbon at all. It's just that apple and maple that really shines through. So love it. Maple apple bourbon. Okay, next one, which, and by the way, yeah, this one, maple apple bourbon, that, that, no, fruit fruit <laughs> that's it's not spice it's fruit uh, okay next one is pumpkin chai this one i would agree belongs in the spice category and this one it really does you smell that chai that comes through so it's not an aggressive cinnamon or anything like that it's just that sweet kind of chai the pumpkin it's cozy it's lovely i do really enjoy this one Pumpkin chai, fill your cup with white pumpkin, a swirl of cinnamon, and a dash of chai. If there is cinnamon in this, it's such a small dash. <laughs> um, it's really, it's really subtle. It's really more of that chai that's coming through and obviously that pumpkin base, but it's just pumpkin and chai. So love this one, pumpkin chai. Next one is pumpkin cinnamon swirl. This one always amazes me and you're probably like, Lisa, pumpkin cinnamon swirl there's cinnamon in the name like it obviously belongs in the spice category but hear me out we have a few different pumpkin spice scents and i feel like this of the three that i'm thinking of off the top of my head this one has the least amount of spice like the other two have way more spice in my opinion and they're not in this category <laughs> they're in the bakery category which i do believe that they belong there but i would probably flip flop and have this one in the bakery and the other two in the spice just if it were me not that anybody asked so pumpkin cinnamon swirl hear me out so this smells like a pumpkin cinnamon roll but there's just, it's just such the slightest bit of cinnamon because there is a rich vanilla frosting that is on that pumpkin cinnamon roll. It's that beautiful, sweet vanilla that's coming through that really balances with the pumpkin and the spice that vanilla comes through. And that's why I'm like, uh, I agree there's some spice in this, but the other two that we have, Pumpkin Roll and Scary Good, in my opinion, have way more spice than this does. This, to me, is more bakery and less spice. I still love it. It goes in my club. It's fantastic. I just don't agree with the category. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl is described as fresh pumpkin garnished with cinnamon stick and a dollop of whipped icing. So I do agree with that. I just don't agree with the category. So not not to say that their description is wrong because it is not but um it is delicious <laughs> it is absolutely delicious okay. <coughs> okay we've got two more next one is spiced ember glow this one i was kind of hoping wouldn't come back <laughs> this one was actually a new release last fall and winter season and this is aggressive spice <laughs> this is very aggressive this is straight spice and woods. It is aggressive spice, aggressive wood. I mean, go big or go home here with this one. It is, it is woodsy and she is spicy. Uh, spiced Ember Glow is smoked apple. And yeah, that's what, there is like a smoky element to this for sure. Smoked apple and toasted vanilla over cinnamon embers offer a warm and inviting escape. It is, it is woodsy, it is apple-y, it is spicy. Spiced Ember Glow. Okay, and last but most certainly not least, we have Welcome Home. I love me some Welcome Home. Welcome Home is typically around all year, but man, do I love this one in the fall time. 
because this reminds me of walking into a craft store. This is sweet berries, warm spices without it being too much. It really allows the like sweetness of like berries to shine through. <sighs> okay, so now I have to, I have to smell these two side by side. So we have, okay, let me tell you first, getting ahead of myself. I was just so excited to be able to smell these side by side. Welcome home is described as warm and welcoming with cinnamon and spices. 100%. I absolutely agree, but there is a sweetness that I feel like they don't say in the, in the description on this, um, that really helps like balance it out. It's so good. It's so good. So now let's smell these side by side. So we have the brand new blackberry spice. Oh gosh, that's good. Oh man, that's good. There is, they're, they're different, similar, but different. I'm still sticking to the fact that they are sisters. Um, welcome home. It's hard to describe because they're both sweet, and a little bit of spicy. I feel like blackberry spice is maybe a little bit sweeter, but man, they are both so good. Very similar. Honestly, if you had these going in alternating warmers throughout your house or throughout my house, I would be such a happy camper. Oh man, so good. It's hard, it's hard to tell you like the differences, but blackberry spice is just a teensy bit sweeter in my opinion, but both definitely complimentary scents for sure. Okay. Out of 17 fragrances, I got to pick my top six. Okay. So this was actually a little bit easier than I was expecting. So, um, I thought, oh man, this is going to be a hard one, even though I'm picky with the spice, but still there's so many good ones in this. So not in any particular order. First day of fall would definitely make my top six of this category cider mill would be my number one this cider mill hands down if i only chose one fragrance from the spice category it would be this one love love cider mill pumpkin cinnamon swirl you have to pick a pumpkin spice type scent right even though i believe this is more bakery than spice still had to make my top six for sure love this one one of my favorite scents for sure autumn hearth <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? This totally brings me back. It probably, if you would have asked me last year, well, we did go through this last year. This would not have been in my top six, but this just, this takes me back. This is a scent memory for me and it takes me back to my childhood and it's delicious. <laughs> so Autumn Hearth, give me that hot apple cider. And then we have Harvest Blessings. So good. And last, but most certainly not least, and so happy because it's a new release, Blackberry Spice. Oh my gosh, you guys, so, so good. So those would be my top six fragrances that I would personally choose from the Spice collection of the Fall Winter 2022 catalog. Let me know down below what your top six would be. I love hearing from you guys. I love knowing what, what your favorite scents are from each category. It makes me so, so happy. Are you ready for fall? I'm ready for fall, especially after smelling this goodness. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. Have an amazing day, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.